Chapter 6, Solutions, Question 7. The presence of a pattern in a scattered plot means that the values of response increase with the values of the explanatory false because it could either increase or decrease or it could not show any pattern or at all. But if just because there is a presence of pattern, it does not mean that it has to increase. It could decrease too. 11. If the net revenue of a firm is about 10% of the gross, gross sales, then the scatter plot of the net, net revenue versus gross sales should be a linear pattern, would show a non-linear pattern than a line. That's false. If, because if one is 10% of another, then as you can see, this is nothing but a linear equation. So it would show a linear pattern. 13. If the correlation between the growth of a stock and the growth of economy as a whole is close to 1, uh, this would be a good stock to hold during a recession when the economy shrinks. False. This, not, this would not be a good stock to hold during a recession as the correlation between the growth of a stock and the growth of the economy as a whole is close to 1. Which means as the economy recedes, the stock price should also fall. If the covariance between x and y is 0, then the correlation between x and y is 0 as well. That is true because based on the formula which gives us the relation between covariance and correlation, as you can see, if 1 is 0, the other is 0 or 2 and vice versa. In an account, If an accountant at a retail shopping chain accidentally calculated the Correlation between the phone number of a customer and their outstanding debt. He should expect to find a substantial correlation. False. He should not expect to find anything. Nothing should be expected. In reality, if a correlation exists, it's just because of random chance. There is no causal relation which we can, causal explanation which we can provide for a correlation to exist. So should he expect anything? No, he should not expect anything. A report graphs the number of daily employees in the x-axis and the number of items produced in the y-axis. The correlation would be larger if the uh, plot reverses the x and the y-axis false. Now let us look at the formula of the correlation. As you can see from this formula, this formula is symmetric in x and y. That is, if x and y are interchanged, the formula remains the same. So, here the answer is false. A retailer calculated the correlation between the correlation line between the price of an x item and y item. The correlation line is the same if the x and y variables are exchanged. No, the correlation line would change if x and y variables were exchanged they would not remain the same that is because if it was between the correlation line is as follows z hat y is equal to r times z hat x this is between y and x which would be y hat minus y bar by sx which is r times x x i or xj minus x bar by sy oops sorry this should be y this should be x therefore y hat is equal to y bar plus r times sy over sx times xj minus x bar similarly if we interchanged x and y we would get z hat x is equal to r times z hat y which would give us x hat equal to x bar plus r times sx over sy times yj minus y bar and as you can see these two equations are different from one another. The correlation between the sales and the advertising between uh, when both are measured in millions of dollars is 0 0.65. The correlation remains the same if we convert these variables into thousands of variables. True because the correlation is scaled invariant so 
that would not make any difference. If the correlation between the numbers of customers and the sales in dollars in retail is 0 0.6, then would the correlation if the sales were measured in thousands and dollars or in euros change? No, one second because it is scale free. To inflate the correlation, a conniving manager adds 200,000 to the actual sales amount. Would this trickery make the correlation larger? It would not. It would not change the correlation at all because correlation is scale free. Here, a uh, fitness center weighed 53 male athletes and then measured the weight they could lift. The correlation was found to be 0.75. Can you interpret this correlation without knowing whether the weights were in pounds or kilograms or the mixture of the two? Yes, the correlation can be interpreted without knowing the units of the variables because once again, correlation is scale invariant. After calculating the correlation, the analyst at the fitness center discovered that the scale used to weigh the athletes were off by 5 pounds. Each athlete's weight was measured as 5 pounds more than it actually was. How does that error affect the reported correlation? It doesn't do anything. It does not affect because if we add a constant to the variable or if we subtract a constant to the variable, the correlation still remains the same. And that follows from the fact that the correlation is scale free. Uh, uh, management of a sales force has noticed that there is a positive linear association between sales produced by a company and uh, company representatives in adjusted months. What are the variables? There are two variables X, which is the sales produced in month one, Y is the sales produced in month two. If the sales representative does well this month, say her Z score is plus two, why should you expect? Her Z score to be lower next month. Well, according to the regression formula, the expected Z score, ex her expected Z score for next month is the correlation times her Z score for this month. And we know that the correlation for this month is equal to plus two. We know that the regression is the correlation, sorry, we know the, the Z score is plus two, the correlation is 0. 0.6. Therefore, her expected predicted correlation for next month is two times 0. 0.6, which is 